Hello there, welcome back. I've been waiting weeks to make this video because I've been I've been quite ill and uh, also the weather has been terrible. So I'm just glad that we've got a nice sunny day. The day is actually getting on so the sun isn't quite at its zenith. But even so, it should still give me a chance to demonstrate that fella to you. That is the All Powers 500 solar battery generator slash storage unit and as you can see it's pretty small i got this in addition to the um, storage unit that i already had which is the jackery 1000 which is fantastic that one came with two 100 watt solar panels i wanted two systems because i operate from two different places generally during the day so if the power goes out and my main solar thing fails or whatever I've got this battery and I've got my previous battery I can put one battery in the house next to the um, that thing that receives the internet what will that be called the hub the internet hub is and as well as other things that are kind of connected to that plug all those into one of my batteries take the other battery out into my cabin where I work from and plug in my laptop my printer and various other things as well that means I don't have to stop work unfortunately so I'll start with the panel this is a 100 watt panel although the chances of ever generating 100 watts of power up here in the north even in the middle of summer is pretty slim we're in the middle of winter now and oh, I can't remember how much we we're getting out of this before 40 50 watts maybe the sun's very low and very weak in the summer i would probably expect somewhere between 75 and 85 watts out of this in the you know the, the high hot summer sun right I've got a velcro attachment there that allows us to open that up and as you can see it's quite a big panel but it is generating 100 watts or it is capable of generating 100 watts maybe it's in Egypt and in this pocket on the back we have all our various attachments and cables and adapters and all that sort of thing but we've got two of these and they're little legs hopefully you can see that we've got two little press studs here we'll just take that off stick one on there one up there and that basically gives us our legs so we can stand the panel up at the correct angle to the sun. And then when we're finished, just take those off and put them back in the pouch at the back there. So in there, we've got our cables coming out. We go to a socket. And from there, we connect the other cable which goes to our battery pack. It's not connected at the moment, so I'll connect it up now. And here we've got the main unit. As you can see, it's pretty small. It's about the size of a standard car battery. Maybe it's even a little bit smaller. It's quite narrow. That's where our input goes. Like so. Okay, so that's our main unit. As I said, it's pretty small. It's got the lovely folding handle on the top. The little rubbery bit here keep them locked in place we've got a 12 volt input we've got the input from the panels and we've also got another input an 18 watt input if we want to link up other panels to it as well you can charge it with two separate panels i should have checked but i'm assuming that that 12 volt like tab light a sort of attachment is both in and out and also into that input we can use a charger, a mains charger, which comes with the battery pack. So really you're not short of ways to get power into this thing. Uh, we'll go to that side. That's your outputs. So we've got two DC outputs here. We've got a type C connector. We've got three USBs. That one's the fast charge. These are just normal. I would imagine that one's what, 3.1 and 2.4 for those two. Then on the face of the storage unit, we've got a light. 
on either side. We've got Bluetooth, and as you know, I hate anything that's connected to Bluetooth, so I'll just ignore that. Look elsewhere if you want to find out about that. We've got two standard sockets on here. Which this one is just going to my little laptop thing. Hopefully you'll be able to see that readout there. It's saying 1606, 1424, 1336. That's basically the remaining power in here based on what you've got plugged into it. So I've got a little uh, like tablet computer plugged into it. So it's showing me that I'm going to get, oh, it's up to 17 hours there. So 17 hours of life out of this to power my little computer. And that's based on it drawing approximately 40 watts out of here. So if it draws 40 watts that feeds the little computer, it'll last 17 hours, 42 minutes or thereabouts. Now you'll notice these figures change. If the wattage drops, the remaining life increases. If the wattage uh, that's being drawn out of this thing increases, the remaining life in the battery decreases. So it's never constant when it's going to a computer because your computer's doing all sorts of different things. It might draw anywhere between 35 watts up to 40 or 50 watts, depending on what the computer's doing. So this figure here, the remaining power, will change all the time. You've also got options here for AC output and DC output. So you can change it based on what you're doing. Now I didn't mention this before, but the, that timer that counts down to show you how much power is left in here also counts down to tell you how long it would be at the current input to fully charge the battery. So that's good as well. You could just leave the setup outside as long as you didn't live in a street somewhere where somebody's going to steal it. You know, for me, I could just leave it out in my garden. I could look at that and think, all right, okay. So we've got, I don't know, an hour and a half left to charge it. I'll just come back in an hour and a half and check it. You know, no need to constantly keep checking it. Okay, I've just switched this off, which knocks the power off to these sockets. I'll just plug the panel back in. And we should see how much is going into this. So presently there's 49 watts of power from our 100 watt panel going in. That's pretty good because as I say, it's late in the day, it's winter, we're up north and that's, you know, that's a 50% efficiency from the panel as far as output goes and uh, based on its potential, you know, it's pretty good. Right, hopefully you can see that. But I've just plugged another type of panel in, which is actually a, a multi-folding one, you know, more or less something that could go in your backpack. It's also a 100 watt panel, but that one is only pumping in 24 watts. Uh, that's pretty much half what the bifolding one did. And I'll just show you that other panel now. Okay, so that's our bifolding 100 watt panel. And that is the other one that I bought. That one will go into a backpack. It basically folds up to the size of one of those panels just inside this pouch part here. And that one's producing half what the big, you know, more or less proper panel is producing. That's interesting, but it's also understandable as well because between every one of these individual panels is a connection and cable. And every time you get a connection and a cable, its resistance so that is just a well, that's a pretty good indication that although that will produce power because of all the resistance in there with the multiple connections and cables and everything the actual output from it is approximately half what that one is so really if you just wanted like sunshine to power conversion at its highest rate go for that panel if you want the luxury of being able to carry that in a backpack, and bear in mind that one ain't gonna fit in a backpack, then go for that one, but that one will produce a lot less power. And here's our multi-folding panel. As you can see, when it's opened up, it's pretty big. It's, oh God, I've had a guess, I don't know, a meter square, maybe? About, well, roughly three foot square. And this one just folds up like that. Better one to look at. 
there you go that is really really compact there you go just an added level of convenience although the output from this isn't anywhere near as much as the output from your standard panel ah now here's where this gets confusing this is called the 500 i've seen some videos where some folks say the actual capacity is 666 watts but there's also other videos and other information out there that say it's 606 on here it says continuous output 500 watts which is why it's named the 500 surge 1000 watts so if you plug something in that malfunctions or you plug something in that's drawn too much power it will supply it for a short time but then it'll cut out to protect itself and then it says capacity 164,000 milliamp hours brackets 606 watt hours so yeah 606 that's still a kind of old capacity for such a small unit i mean that is a very compact unit as i said before it's about the size of a car battery you know your standard car battery that you get in a you know just a medium sized family car and it's nowhere near as heavy it's got everything you need in a very small package and actually one thing i forgot to show you before is that that's the fan the coolant fan that did come on before because i plugged my dremel in and i just set it away max power and i also had the other plug going to my computer the fan came on just to cool it down i stuck my nose there just to check there was no smells of burning or anything like that and it smelt fine <laughs> it's also got one on the other side as well to me that's a cracking power pack very small high capacity it charges fine it's got lots of nice features it's pretty accurate with showing you how much is coming in it's accurate showing you how much is going out as well and i like the idea of the countdown timer like a countdown to extinction which lets you know roughly how much life or how much power you've got in here until it cuts out in an emergency slash survival situation where the grid goes down and it will that would be absolutely yeah, worth its weight in gold, that feature. Just that countdown because you could see what you were using and the effect that it has on here and how much life you've got left in this. Now both of these panels and the storage battery come with a nation of various connections. Whoops. A little USB here. There's some carabiners if you want to hang your panel up. There's also a clips as well, so you can charge like ordinary car batteries using this. Yeah, it's just a very comprehensive kit. You know, no matter which panel you go for with the storage unit, you're not going to be short of cables and hangers and clips and all sorts. For everything you need there. So in summary, I would absolutely recommend this. Did I need a second a lot of solar panels and battery storage not really certainly not at this point in civilization but if society slash civilization takes a downturn then i'm going to be very well prepared we're certainly going to have plenty of lights we're going to be able to power small electronics we're going to be able to charge other things using this as long as the sun keeps shining we'll be okay Thanks for watching and if you're interested in this, there is links to all of this in the video description. And it says capacity. 100. And then it says capacity. One. God, I'm sounding like Joe Biden. And then it says capacity. And then it says capacity. 1,000...